Good day, this is Stephen David here. In this video, I want to show you how the GDM SS Lite works. The reason why I make this video is because at the present moment, meaning December 2022, there is no GDM SS Plus available. Even though they say that they um, discontinue the GDM SS Lite, and uh, the GDM Plus will be uh, available and that it will want to divert to that. If you go on to Google Plus Store, you will see there is no GDM SS Plus, but only the GDM Lite shows up. Another thing is that the version of the GDM Plus that's available in this present moment differs from what I see uh, the other versions of. Now if you go to the GDM is, is light site, click on it and then it opens and uh, we will show you how it works and then also some of the differences uh, in the light version. The first thing and the major thing that you can do is on the right hand corner there is this uh, uh, camera and just click on it, tap on it and then you can go down to house, to the name, whatever you gave to your uh, specific camera set. I gave mine his cameras and then click on it. If you select it, uh, you can select um, all. It's easier to select all and then you just start live view. So that you, then you can monitor what is going on there. Also important is that when you try to move us to other areas, do not just move here and down under swipe in under swipe here the total thing that is the total thing you swipe then you get to the next set of camera swipe it again the total thing you must swipe here on at the cameras themselves if you do swipe here below that's a frustration thing it will not work okay so if you want to see a specific uh, camera in more uh, detail just double click on it double tap on it Okay, and the, um, when you have your camera, if you want to focus in on something, you just take your fingers and uh, out, move it out, just like ordinary, and then you move it around if you want to go to an area. If you want to focus, again, out of focus, you just pinch it, like the normal uh, operations that you do. You go to a different camera by just swiping it, swiping it, and if you again want the uh, four views, you go, uh, you can double tap on it. Yeah, I'd, I'd maybe tap a little bit more. And then uh, the obvious thing here is on the corner, and you must always remember on the uh, left hand corner, if you are home, you go here, but you, it, it is, not always possible in the start you think you must tap on these uh, bars here but it's not and I tap tap in vain you must actually tap sort of more to the left here in the corner next to it then it will work I just want to show you but if you tap in the corner then you get the home screen if you go to the home screen you see the camera the door if it's connected as well as the alarm in my case I do not it's not connected. I do not even know if it's possible to connect it on the uh, a light version. Go back then to the cameras and uh, then you will see a playback. Playback, um, of course, if there's a problem, then you playback. A playback, then when you have playback, you go here also to the camera and then the camera functions differently. Yeah, you get the time and the from where you want to start the uh, Playback. I'm going to choose now deliberately because I want to illustrate something. Some uh, now uh, three days or some five days back from uh, November. But you will see here, and that is very interesting here, at this December is over the uh, arrows here. So even if you try now to type on the arrows, nothing happens. Okay, something happened now. But I discovered then you can't necessarily, if you want to navigate, previously it was a problem, you can't necessarily, on the arrows you must sort of 
next to the arrow, next to the arrow, then it works. Okay, I just want to set the time now. The time is uh, make it November. Okay, there you can see. You see, not on the arrow, but maybe here, yeah, just next to the arrow, just next to the arrow. November, make it November. I just want to make it 22nd. Okay, then it comes the time. Time you move, this is my, make it 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, move it again. So I want to show you how you set the time. And then click OK. And then after having the time that you wanted to set the camera's uh, playback, then you select the cameras that you want to set. Okay, I'm going to, as I said, you select, uh, I select here uh, various cameras, a lot of cameras. Ah, there it comes up. There it comes up. Search period cannot exceed 72 hours. So you cannot have a search period longer than 72 hours in the light version. So we then just change it here. Um, November. Um, make it November the 1st. Okay, the time, keep the time because you know. Okay. I just want to illustrate another thing here in terms of the devices you can search. Having it, then you start playback. And then you see, cannot exceed four channels. You can only play back four channels. Né? So um, let's uh, deselect two and see just again, four. That's correct. So these are the two parameters you must um, remember in the uh, light version. You can only uh, search within 72 hours, not longer than, and then you must uh, can't search more than um, four cameras. I want to show you something else. You can, of course, go fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. But I, I can't necessarily distinguish if there is a difference in the um, time um, that you set. I set. Um, but it appears I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Then if you go and take, try to take a photo, nothing will happen. Nothing on playback. I don't know if I do something wrong. Um, one camera. No record. There's no record. It does not record or something in the sense that you can record a certain time period of something. I, I, I'm not able to assess that. If this, so you can do it, it will be fine. Now go back then to the, um, so I can take a photo with this light, new version of the light or record a section. Uh, go back to home now. And then you just get the device and these are by the favorites and so on. So because of the device favorites, it's not necessary for me. Maybe you can look at another video, but the local files, because I could not record anything and take a photo, a snapshot, uh, I don't have uh, any local files here. So, uh, and then here at the, um, let's go here to the, uh, yeah, you can apparently set the hard decoding to increase the uh, picture, uh, the picture quality, HD quality. I tried here. Uh, the, the, you can see my picture quality on the video is um, very poor, whilst on another uh, platform, the quality is much better. The real time playback, I do not know if it really is influenced by this. I try to play. A, Along with this, I didn't come right. Another important element is if you go here to the uh, device manager, a device manager, if you go to the group of cameras you named, then you get uh, and you click here on the uh, far left, like a pen, click on it, then you will see uh, the data, username, etc. And if you uh, want to connect this, put this on another device, uh, then you just uh, Upload uh, GDMS light and you type in this is in number. This is in number is important because it will help you then to connect your device, um, mobile, etc., 
to your uh, specific home. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love constructive comment and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.